All right, let's turn on my VPN. <laughs> let's go into a reverse boosted lobby so they don't shoot back at me. <laughs> <coughs> 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 Let's turn up this soft aim a little, and <clears throat> I'm ready to go. Ooh, I almost forgot my diaper. Okay, <clears throat> here is the next meta weapon loadout in Warzone. I know it looks a little funky, but trust me, guys. I dropped 40 kills this game. I'm the best. I'm a beast. You're just bots. Skill base doesn't exist. Here, oh, here are the attachments right here for you. No recoil. Perfect accuracy attachments on the perfect gun. And, yeah, let's get right into it. <laughs> Sorry, losers. These idiots are actually gonna believe that that's a metal weapon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that in a nutshell is my representation of Call of Duty YouTubers, streamers, content creators, and I know I'm one of them. I make content on Call of Duty, but I like to have a broad variety of games that I like to play and upload, especially games I have fun on, specifically because Call of Duty just isn't one of them anymore. But I also like to incorporate my personality. Usually the YouTubers that I see nowadays on Call of Duty lack personality and have this not have this non-human like aim almost like it's a computer aiming for them and making their decisions and almost like you know, they're versing people that don't like to shoot back for some reason, almost like they're allergic to touching the trigger. If you don't know what I'm picking up on, basically all these Call of Duty YouTubers are cheating and or exploiting to get content. And it sucks too, because I see a lot of these, I'll see a lot of YouTube shorts with 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 likes. And you gotta think, these people are getting paid money. You're paying them by watching these shorts and supporting this content. Like, oh, yeah, nice. This, I see people using the AMR-9 with a, like a, as an assault rifle, basically, beaming people at range. But when you really look at it, the enemies suck, they have no recoil, they have perfect awareness, and they just don't miss any shots. I wonder why. And it's so toxic now. The, these are the content creators that everybody's watching. Why can't they go back to the old days? There are all these different niches. You had Vanoss, who would troll Ninja Diffuse with his friends playing Search and Destroy. You had FaZe Clan and all the trickshotting community, sniping, trickshotting, going for clips. These little niches all got hundreds of thousands of views. And then you had the tryhards. You had the really good players. In the prime, obviously, Scumpy was a pro. I watched people like TBNR Frags, who would pub stomp because they were above average and could actually get good gameplay which they probably can't now because skill base likes to stick it up their behind. So how do these players that have no personality and no real skill create an audience? They cheat. And what does Activision or Ricochet do? Nothing. Their anti-cheat sucks. I know there's a whole bunch of rumors out there about be them being whitelisted so they can't get banned. I don't know how true that is. I know people go to the extreme to get views over the cheaters, but you cannot deny that even if some are being falsely accused, there are still a handful that are being rightfully accused and there's no repercussion for them cheating. And it sucks because there could be an actual content creator or YouTuber who's trying to grind legitimately who will not see any recognition for their skills and actually trying to compete. They're going up against people who are blatantly cheating and doing whatever it takes just to make an extra dollar and to become more famous and more popular. And then you always hear the phrase, oh, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. But come on now. Where's the integrity? Where's the honesty? It doesn't exist. And it's just really sad to see like this. Not only does Call of Duty as a game suck. The game sucks. Aside from skill based. Aside from all that algorithm stuff that I always ranted about. It sucks. The game sucks. It's boring. It's bland. It's copy and paste. And not only is it copy and paste. The people that are supporting the game are even worse. The people that are supporting the game are just as bad. It's not like the game sucks and you got people that are still sticking it through, giving it a chance. No, the people that are sticking it through are cheating because the game sucks and it just makes it even worse. It gives people the idea that the game's actually good and oh, I could do that good and then you get on and you get destroyed because it's not reality. But nobody cares because they're getting money. 
It's all about money now. There's no passion in anything. There's no passion in developing the game. There's no passion in making content for the game. It's all money. They copy and paste, focus on the marketplace, ramp up skill-based matchmaking for the casuals who don't even know skill, what skill-based is so they can keep buying stuff in the marketplace and stay on the game. Streamers, they're supporting the game, acting like it's perfect. This is, this is the best game this is the best Call of Duty game in the last 10 years, lies. They hack on it while streaming, so you're donating dollars to them to pop up on their stream because 20,000 people are watching a cheater play. 20,000 casuals are watching a cheater play because honestly, I don't watch any of that crap anymore. I just see it in my feed or when I'm scrolling through my shorts because I have no choice but to scroll through it once in a while and I just see blatant cheats and it's beyond me on how they haven't gone banned and why people support them. It's just, it, it's so sad to see this is where the Call of Duty community has gone. The game sucks, the people playing suck, and all they're doing is making it worse. And there's a few YouTubers out there that do actually have a personality and play the game. Like, one great example is Jev. That man is sticking it through. It seems like he enjoys the game, which is good for him. I mean, he's finding some, he's finding a little bit of light in the massive void of darkness that this franchise has become. And props to him for being able to, to do what he does. But he's probably the one real one who people watch because of his personality, not because of his skill. So he doesn't need to cheat. If you're a nobody who sucks, you're going to do anything in your power to exploit the game. And I don't know if you've watched videos on Jack Frags or any of these other popular FPS YouTubers, but there's apparently an exploit now that's not detectable by anti-cheat because it's a hardware thing, not a software issue. And they could create these scripts to give them no recoil on any of their guns and all this crazy crap because and and aim assist on mouse and keyboard and it's it's ridiculous because people are most likely exploiting this posting it on youtube like they're the best in the game with their meta loadout when the gun really sucks they're just trying to create content so they take a random gun put some attachments on it get a good gameplay probably with their zero recoil and soft aim and then they post it like it's the next best gun and it sucks like that's just what the community is now um there's nothing we could do about it i guess uh other than boycott the franchise and the youtubers that do this but we all know that's impossible well it, anything's possible but that's very unlikely to happen i was just making this video because i mean i still you could see i have gameplay here i'll play with my friends but making content on the game is honestly impossible like you're already at a losing battle trying to compete with people that are cheating and it's hard to have a personality on a game that's so bland and so boring to play Maybe I'll try making some search and destroy videos. Let's pray I don't get banned in game chat because you say the slightest thing wrong and AI picks up on it and you get communications banned even if nobody reports you. Absolutely insanity that that's a thing. But this is the course that Call of Duty is going. And mark my words, and I hope I stick to them, I do not plan on buying the next Call of Duty. I don't want to support it. I don't want to play it. I know I'm going to have friends that buy it. I'm going to try my best to stay away because the game and the franchise is that toxic and that bad. Let me know what you guys think in your opinions. Let me know if you have any suggestions on games I should play. I've been playing Battlefield, Battle Bit, Lethal Company. Hopefully x Define can come out because I would love to do content on that. I've made some Fortnite stuff. Anything, anything that you guys want, I will deliver. That's all for today's video. See you in the next one.